Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here, and if you're not new, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. And today we have something very important to talk about, and that is crochet wrist pain, because we all have it. I know that's why you're here. I deal with it. I've been a crochet designer for five years, and I'm crocheting pretty much on the daily. Um, you know, crochet, it, it hurts after a while. We love our hobby, and um, we want to get it done. Are there a gift for someone we love? Uh, holidays are coming. You have a timeline you're trying to get it done with, or you're tired of working on it, and frankly, you just want the last few hours over with so you can move on to the next thing. So whatever the reason you're getting crochet pain from, I have answers. Can we not keep telling the people of the world to do this? The answer is not to change the way you hold your hook. Can we please not? Just stop it. I'll tell you why that doesn't work. If you think of, let's say, a successful tennis player who's won matches, who's won trophies, tell them to hold their racket a different way. Absolutely not. That's like learning it a new sport altogether. You've been playing this way, you do it because you enjoy the sport, right? We enjoy crochet. Crochet is a hobby. It's supposed to be relaxing. And to have to relearn how we've been doing things for, you know, six months, 50 years, and everywhere in between, no, that's absolutely not the answer. But I have the answers. So let's talk about it. We're in my little nook here, and the first tip is these little gloves, and I'm getting my fingers in these uh, strategically placed holes. All right, why this works? Now, this is not the be-all, end-all, but it definitely helps. So you can see it applies some pressure to the wrist, and this helps support the wrist. And I find these useful. Now, they're not comfortable for long wear, but they do help prevent the pain. None of these are going to fix your pain, but these tips will allow you to crochet longer, pain-free. So the gloves are one. These are the, I'm thinking of a, these are the least expensive of all the options because yes, the next two are more. But let's get to them because you may have a solution at home that won't cost you anything, especially with my very last tip. All right, tip number two is a nursing pillow. I don't have children, so when people come over here and they see a nursing pillow, they're like, Stephanie, what is that for? This perfectly supports your arm. So this is a firm stuffed pillow. Do not go cheap on these. This is an original boppy, and it supports the wrist perfectly. So it fits comfortably around the midsection, which is what a nursing pillow is supposed to do. And as you're crocheting, some of that pressure is taken off of the forearm and stops gravity from pulling on it. So sometimes you'll find your pressure is not so much from your wrist, but it's because you're holding things. And that's adding extra stress to, to um, compound that repetitive movement of crocheting. I'm looking around because I normally have <laughs> hooks everywhere. I think I put them all away. It was good today. But this works fantastic. So yes, the uh, I call this my wrist support pillow since it's not a nursing pillow, but I um, highly recommend having one of these. I did try early on with a body pillow. You know, they're they're long, they're they're still pretty firm, they're not quite as firm as these almost, but it doesn't stay around your body because it's not meant to be. It's meant to be used for the length of your body, whereas this is meant to go around. So I sucked it up and I just I bought one and I'm so glad I did because I use it almost every single day. Now let's get on to my last discovery that has been life-changing in my crocheting. My last tip involves a little bit of a story time because it was so recent and it's how I figured out how to really have a noisy car going by when I'm recording, how to crochet exactly three times longer. So when you're working something like this, a square, 
it's not really granny as far as the square, but several of these to make a larger project. And these really strain the arm because when you're working with a small, like if you've made a dishcloth or a granny square or small things like this, you have to hold it the entire time. And when you're making many, it really, <clears throat> it really can wear on you as opposed to making, now if you're working a blanket or a garment, it eventually drops down and the weight of it rests on your lap. Whereas this, you have to hold it up the whole time. So that's extra strain on these tendons. Now, the reason this is a story time is, it's been about two months now almost. So I have a terrible spine. I have moderate, diagnosed moderate scoliosis. My back can get really turned into a, a mess um, pretty easily. I can manage it quite well, but I had a really bad bout of it where my, uh, even my entire um, that sacral joint like in the pelvis was not working I, I, I couldn't walk it was kind of like driving a car with two flat tires on one side it just doesn't really work so I was you know I did enough movement to keep my uh, my um, ligaments limber and warm but I couldn't sit sitting was extremely painful um, walking was almost impossible because uh, my leg wasn't able to move. It's the only thing that connects your trunk to your leg, right? And when that's not working, you know. Anyway, I'm better now. But I was in my bed quite a bit because that's how I was most comfortable. Now, I am fortunate for the past eight years, I've had a, what they call a zero gravity bed. And that's where it kind of folds up. Like, I call it the it tacos up. <laughs> like a hospital bed. And that position, having, you know, the legs up, but also the way your body goes backwards just a bit also has the arms going back. So your elbows are more against your side, resting against the bed or a recliner gets you in that same position. So that kind of mimics what tip number two is, which is the nursing pillow, but even better. So um, I had been working on these prior to the injury and I was able to work on them while I was in bed, but my arms were getting tired so quickly making all of these just on the sofa with the nursing pillow. Now in the bed, I could, I timed it. I literally could do three times more with zero discomfort. I was just blowing right through these while I was laid up in that zero gravity position. Now if you, I'm not telling you to go out and buy a bed, that's not realistic. But if you don't have a recliner, if you don't have, you know, this bed, you can mimic that position because I did that. I have a, um, the sectional kind of sofa where one is kind of like a chaise lounge and your legs go up. I was able to put something under my legs to kind of lift them, which naturally moves your torso back, right? And then your elbows back. So you can kind of mimic that. It might look crazy if you don't live alone, but you know they know you and they know you need to be comfortable so that's fine <laughs> you're not hurting anyone by laying in a crazy position right so if you can have your your uh get the knees elevated and if you google a picture and i'll put a picture up here somewhere so you can see what zero gravity looks like if you're not familiar with it but that works beautifully in uh, preventing crochet pain. Now it did eventually start to fatigue my arm and plus I needed to get up and move around because um, one of these takes me close to an hour and after three hours of that you know I had to get up um, but I would uh, take maybe a two-hour break and you do need to take some breaks. Um, I know how exciting it is when you start getting close to the end and you want to finish. In fact my first experience with crochet pain. I'll put up a picture. I was making a poncho from another designer that I, you know, I love. I still wear it so much to this day, but it took a long time. I'm five foot 11 and it's a lot of square footage to make, but I was kind of in the home stretch. I really wanted to get it done. And I was three days just putting in like five hours a day and it was killing me. And I was just working through that burning pain and I wish I had these tips then because it would have been a much more comfortable experience. So uh, I hope these hips are hips. These tips help you uh, now that my hips better. <laughs> um, and if you have any other tips that you like that do work for you, please let the community know down in the comments. We'd love to hear it. Um, and uh, please subscribe and hit like if you found this helpful. I'd love to see you again.
Bye.